How's it going? Good, thank you, Nish. Hello, Bob. I assume I open the box. Uh, is this a trick with the, like, locks? The... No? <laughs> a coconut, the largest of all the nuts. Uh, so the task is presumably in here. Well, no, I don't know. Something's in here. It's not immediately clear how to open this, but then I'm not the sort of person to own a briefcase. I mean, if you went to work with that, you'd be sacked immediately. <laughs> I, I imagine that you would press these things down and it would sort of snap open. I don't know how to open this and I don't quite know what to do if I can't open it. Um, Make this coconut look like a businessman. <laughs> Make this coconut look like a businessman. Hang on. No. Does it have to be a businessman? Or for once, could we open up the idea and call it a business person? You can interpret businessman however you like. I will interpret it as sexist. You have ten minutes to plan your coconut businessman and then ten minutes to make him. Your time starts now. Ah! There we go. Hey, cool. Right, we're in the way. Oh, it's a task. Oh, it's a coconut. Do you want to know how long it took him to... Uh... I mean, it's obviously my first question, yeah. It took him six minutes to crack the code. <laughs> the code was zero, 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 and it was on zero, zero. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I accept looking at the other people that it was openable. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Bob asked us to leave him alone in his dressing room. He was probably shy. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, we left him in his room. Uh, he asked for some pens and some other fruit, and he asked also to film it himself on his mobile phone. <laughs> Just to be absolutely clear, the task is to make the coconut look like a businessman. That's right. Let's go. Hello, I'm Mary down by your side, and I'm a lathe operator. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Slow Peter, and I paint prison gates, <laughs> and I'm a fucking businessman. <laughs> Did you, like, did you like it? Uh, I mean, I liked it. Did that coconut look like a... Show me the video again and let me, <laughs> let me revoice it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Barbara and I like horses. <laughs> My name is Quentin <laughs> and I enjoy ballet. <laughs> and I'm Morgan and I don't think women should be allowed to breastfeed in public. <laughs> You see my point? I do see your point, yeah. He just looks like um, a coconut character. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like an angry I coconut. I thought maybe if he said he was a businessman, you know, that would get me over that <laughs> hurdle. <laughs> there you go. OK, yes, let's do this. Our contestants have been trying to make coconuts look like businessmen. Uh, up next, it's Ashling B. Yes. Also asked for equipment. Mm -hmm. And we can see your business person now. Thank you. <laughs> It's interesting, actually, yes. that you made a very valid point Thank you. Uh, about the sexist nature of the task. Yes. But the first thing I noticed was the cracking pair of boobs on it. You absolute pig, Greg. <laughs> it reflects very badly on me, all right. Well, then this one is for you. Let me talk you through. So this is a coconut business lady. <laughs> uh, she's not afraid to have an outfit that makes the most of her figure. No, sure. Yeah, she's wearing red lipstick uh, to draw the male attention so she can probably fire them. She's also got loads of coconut water around her, which is, yes, her own blood, because she's a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> and then, at one point, she's forcing three subservient male businessmen to drink her own blood <laughs> during a general meeting at the office. <laughs> and that, sir, is my business person. We can zoom in slightly on her face. Face, please, Alex. <laughs> You said she was 58 years old and an app creator. And an app creator, yeah, she creates 58? apps. 58? She's taken a time. And she's now, armed. <laughs> That's why she's got so much hair on her face. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's a furry face delight. Thank you. You used to call me that. I did. <laughs> Until I came to despise you. <laughs> and who's next? <laughs> so, Mark, do you want to uh, explain what you did? I thought, well... I probably won't be that good at doing, uh, making it physically look like a businessman. I'm not very good at arts and crafts. So instead, I'll make it look to the world like a businessman by actually founding a business for this coconut. And 
<laughs> over the 20 minutes. I did set the coconut up on Twitter and Facebook as a sort of answering service that you could ask questions. We couldn't see it here. Ooh, yeah, have a look. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> um, my thinking was that a lot of business is virtual these days and almost anyone can claim to be a businessman or woman simply by having an online presence. So I, I s spent the 20 minutes establishing as big an online presence for the coconut as I could. I've since gone on to register the, the coconut at company's house. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. And we can see the certificate. It has, it has been certified. <laughs> wow. Is the coconut talking to you? Uh, there are people that claim he doesn't, but I know. Uh, <laughs> I know what I hear. <laughs> Who's next? Okay, uh, Sally Phillips, who again asked for bits and bobs, and she made this businessman. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that business is doing so well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oyster card yeah. in his hand. It is. That's a well, <laughs> He is not a very successful businessman if he's getting the tube, is he? I mean, Sally was the only one who shaved the coconut. She spent <laughs> over half the time shaving the coconut <laughs> and then covered it up. How long did you spend shaving a coconut? 11 minutes. 11 minutes from the shaving. <laughs> 11 minutes? <laughs> it doesn't look like a businessman, it looks like a mad owl. <laughs> Quite good. Yeah. Says I, know, I, know, I know you did. Yeah. He's, got, <laughs> he's got an identi identity badge and a tie. Oh, and is that it's a tiny a picture of a coconut in his identity yes. badge? Oh, that's oh. Yeah. He's an interesting businessman. Let's see what Nish, if Nish Kumar can do worse. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, this is the task that Nish laughed most at whilst doing. <laughs> Jesus. And then, came, <laughs> and then he came out of the house looking like this. Hello, I'm the coconut businessman. Off to do another day of lovely business. Got right. <laughs> <laughs> the face of a man who's not going to come last for once. He's a businessman from the southern states of America. <laughs> another day of lovely business, wearing my tie made of English money. <laughs> Yeah, we stapled the money to the tie. Yeah. Well, you stapled the money to the tie. I did staple the money to the tie. We got a close-up, I think. I think there was £140 on the tie. <laughs> 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 do you want to, where do you want to start? Right at the bottom. I very much enjoyed the determination in Bob's coconut's eyes, <laughs> but he did not look like a businessman, so I'm afraid he must go there. Sally, I, yeah. I mean, yours was like something from an awful nightmare. <laughs> Awful, weird, mini owl. <laughs> um, Ashling, I thought. <gasps> no! Oh, come I th on, that was strong. I thought no! It was, that was so I strong. I thought it was very strong. I don't yeah. accept your first offer. <laughs> I'm going to have to negotiate. Okay. Well, I'm only uh, putting you in third place oh. because I don't think um, going into a business meeting with a gun is a good policy. <laughs> Oh, and we're a very okay. non-violent show, but I very much enjoyed her, apart from, you know, the threat of death. <laughs> um, Mark, you didn't particularly make the coconut look like a businessman because you, you gave him um, a bow tie that was as big as his head. <laughs> it's like it would people, but by creating an actual business, he looks all, incredibly like a businessman. And, uh, you know, Nish Kumar, just from sheer audience reaction, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't not give your tiny-headed businessman... <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.